Well, it is time for baby to begin. All right, guys, what is up? We are back with part two to what if Goku was never turned into a kid in Dragon Ball GT. And man, must I say, we have come a long way, bro. Like, y'all actually got the 10 likes. I'm proud of y'all. Like, come on now, y'all came through for this. And so, y'all get what y'all wanted. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it in three, two, and one okay last we left off the battle was intense on goku and vegeta's end and their decade-long rivalry has finally culminated into this battle vegeta was already in super saiyan 3 and so was goku their battle was intense it was fierce but none neither giving an inch they may be saiyans and they may be old but they're not over the hill yet and they're giving the, their all in in light of their distraction um, Goku and Vegeta are not even aware that Goku, that Baby, excuse me, has even landed. And so, Baby begins his, um, well, strange, uh, motives to, well, get revenge on the Saiyans for the Tuffles, um, basically, extinction. And he wants to go after, literally, the first Saiyan in his radar. And since his, well, ship's navigation system was kind of like effed up during the crash landing, um, he landed in the city where Goten was happily on a date with his girlfriend Valise, and of course, these events do play out somewhat the same, but with a strange twist. The twist is Goten is not messing around here. He has. You know, I would like to use this time to like um, use Goten's knowledge and uh, better, you know, make sense of how this battle would go on a realistic turn. And I would say that Goten would not be kidding around for the most part because the man had been fighting since he was like basically in diapers same with gohan so it's like bro this man ain't gonna just oh be horsing around the entire time like he still has this playboy attitude because you know this is still gt goten the boy is still a, a playboy out here but the man is realistic also come on now the man has had years of his life training with saiyans and so with that being said goten is obviously a lot more powerful than he was in GT. And so he goes into Super Saiyan 2 out of nowhere and completely starts wailing on Baby because this Baby, yes, he is powerful and yes, he does have Saiyan DNA, but he needs to activate said Saiyan DNA. And so to activate said, said Saiyan DNA, excuse me, he would have to, and I already know you already know this was gonna come, get his ass beat by them Saiyans. And so with Baby's already enhanced um, lust for battle. This amuses Baby, but Dr. Mew is still basically watching from afar on some Palpatine type stuff. And so, the battle is actually pretty intense, surprisingly, even though, yeah, right, Gohan, I mean, I mean, Goten, really intense. But yeah, the battle is actually intense. The city is, well, somewhat getting, well, basically leveled on some, <laughs> on some androids type stuff. And so the battle is fierce. It is intense, but Goten wants to end it quickly because A, he has a date, and B, he's literally destroying the city. So they're going to put an end to this, and Goten's going to whip out his specialty, the Kamehameha Wave, with everything he got. But careful not to aim it too close to release the planet in, basically, so he won't blow up the planet. And so Goten powers up. He powers up into max power. He goes into overdrive. He's hitting his limits and going further. He's pushing himself and pushing himself. He thinks he can go farther because he knows he can. But he stops. He stops at max Super Saiyan 2 potential and then begins the trademark summoning of the Kamehameha. He says, and you already know how this go, the Kamehameha. And he blasts it with all of his frustration and power to end this battle to make sure no one has to be harmed. But Goten had a cut. Of course he did. This battle was intense. He didn't even know how bad it was. It was, But at this moment of weakness, a baby lunges inside of him. But he quickly leaves. This baby does not need a host. 
His power is already as it should be. His Saiyan DNA has already been activated. And now, baby's hair begins to stand up. It begins to stand. His power begins to grow. Lightning begins to crackling around him. And baby finally transforms into a Super Saiyan. With this power, combined with Tuffle and Saiyan DNA, the best of both worlds, brains and bronze, he is more powerful than Goten. He overshadows him easily, knocks him out with one punch, and begins to administer the killing blow and says, this is for the Tuffles and me and my master. As he begins to blast, you wouldn't believe it, but Trunks comes in with a sword and he begins to try to hack and slash at him to protect his best friend since childhood, basically his brother, but that is where we will leave it. We will leave it at Trunks versus Baby. And if you want part three, let this video get to 11 likes that may be pushing it, but hey man, say man, let's get it, bro. All right, man, this video has been nice. Um, Yes, yeah, so I'm back to my voiceovers and uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you want more, let me know. I will be dropping a few reactions today, possibly two. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.